Hello everyone and welcome to the Media Center of the 2024 Solheim Cup. I am joined by the victorious United States team. Everyone give them a round of applause. <laughs> All right, I'll ask a few questions and open it up. Um, first, I'll toss it to Stacy. Um, just talk about how proud you are of this team and the, the week you all have had. Yeah. Is this on? Is this on? I don't know. Is this on? There we go. Um, it was an amazing week from the start. I mean, we started the week off Monday going around D.C. We had a great day. And from the moment this team was together, they were together. Um, there was no... We needed a couple days or anything like that. You know, the vibe in the team room was amazing. Uh, the way they got along, the way they support each other. Our group of caddies were, I mean, off the charts, uh, keeping, the, keeping the team room loose, uh, making sure everybody had fun. And, and it showed. It showed in the golf that was played. And I'm just so proud of them. I'm proud that they get this moment um, where they get to celebrate tonight and, and win this cup. And Megan, I'll toss it to you. You went back to back years undefeated at the Solheim Cup. A huge feat. Heck yeah. Just talk about um, how important both those experiences were for you. You know, well, <laughs> you know, playing last year the way I did, and then, you know, obviously ended up in a tie. Uh, Kenan kind of wasn't the best feeling, but at the end of the day, we all played our hearts out, and we knew that with this year's Solheim Cup being one year closer, we were going to be more hungry than ever, and, you know, I just wanted to kind of do my part out there, and again, lay it all out there, and get the crowd going, get the team, you know, we were, as Stacey said, we were vibing all, all too well uh, since the start of the week, and so just kind of really embracing those moments, and being on home soil, and taking advantage of those crowds, definitely helped me kind of fuel me to, to play my best this week. And I just had so much fun out there. And, you know, to, to be able to go undefeated for both Solheims, it's been incredible and a dream come true. And, you know, hopefully keep the streak alive and make the next Solheim Cup in 2026 at the Netherlands. And then, Rose, you went 4-0 this week. Um, I believe you never saw the 16th hole. <laughs> Talk about your week and how awesome it was to do so. Oh, it's been absolutely incredible. I feel like starting off um, the beginning of the week, I just felt so comfortable with everyone. And um, the whole team has just been, they've just been so friendly. And everyone's had a good time um, in the team room on the golf course. And like Stacy said, it translated over to the golf course. I felt a lot more loose than I did last year. And it was good vibes all around. And then last question for Lilia before I open it up. Lilia, you uh, earned the point to, to capture the victory for the U.S. team. How important was that for not only yourself but the team? Oh, it was so important. I felt like in the middle of the match, wheels were kind of falling off. Um, 16, I hit it through the green into the bunker, and I knew I had to make up and down. And then somehow birdied 17 and was able to hit it really close on 18, I knew, I looked at the leaderboard, I saw that we had 14 points, and like Stacy said at the beginning of the week, half points matter, so I only had one goal, was to get it close and get that birdie. Awesome, we will open it up now. Please raise your hand if you have a question, and a mic will be brought to you. Go first over here on the left, Kent. Stacy, when you accepted the captaincy in 2022, you said that the team needed you now. What did the team need back then, and do you think you met what the team needed? They needed to have fun and they needed to enjoy this. And they needed to do that, but also play good golf. And I think there was just a lot of tension of trying to play perfect golf and not enjoying it in the process. And this team, this team enjoyed this week more than, more than the golf itself. You know, they had so much fun to, together. They picked each other up when they needed it. Um, they did whatever I asked of them. Um, they were great offering feedback on pairings. Um, I mean, I just, I can't say enough about them, all 12 of them. They, um, they played so hard and it got hard at times, you know, and we knew it would, we knew it would get tough and it's just crazy how this thing, it doesn't matter what your lead is coming into Sunday. It's half points matter, half points here and there. And uh, just proud of those, you know, that got those matches to 18 and were able to, to get those half points. I know Rose just said the fun translated to the course. How did you see your players' enjoyment translate to on-course success? 
I mean, you guys saw it on the first tee. I've never seen a lot of these players act the way they did on the first tee. I mean, I know their personalities, and, and I'm around them off the golf course, but to, to do that in front of everybody and to feel comfortable doing that, I knew we were doing a lot of things right behind the scenes. And so um, just seeing them on the first tee, I just I had a good feeling about the week, and um, I loved our pairings. I loved the way it all came together and the way they were playing. So... I had a good feeling, but you never know. And um, today was really stressful, though, for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, front right. Uh, Lauren Coughlin, I, I'm curious what the experience of playing in your home state and uh, winning in your, in your home state was like for you this week. I mean, it was my first Solheim, so I don't really have anything else to compare it to. But it was an amazing week. Um, I wouldn't change anything. I had an absolute blast with everybody out here, the caddies, my teammates, captains. Um, our families that were around, it was a very special week. And Stacy, uh, for a rookie in her home state, how do you think Lauren handled kind of all of the, the pressure on her? I think she did okay. Um, <laughs> and I knew she would, and that's honestly why I put her in the position I did today. I, I figured it was going to come down to that six, seven, eight uh, matchup, and I put people there that I knew that I could trust to make the putts, and that could handle the moment. And I, I felt, I knew she could handle the moment just from the way her attitude has been all week. And even when she was down today, the attitude was amazing. And um, I had a lot of belief that she was gonna keep that match going. Sarah? Lily, uh, five months ago, I know um, the back was still bothering you, but five months later, you're in this position. When you were at home and, and working through that injury, did you picture yourself ever in this moment? And just what does it mean to, to have come back from so much this year to, to be here? I mean, this week was kind of hard for me. I felt like I wasn't physically 100%, and I almost felt guilty taking that spot from someone else and felt like I was trying to find something out here on the golf course. And luckily, I have the best team around me and was able to kind of find my game today. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty grateful to even be playing golf, though. Thank you. And then Lexi, potentially, that was your, your you know, final, final moment with your, your teammates out there. What did it mean to just get a win in your potential final cup? Yeah, it, it was very special. It meant the world to me just to be here and to be part of this team. These girls are incredible. Um, words can't really describe just the personalities on this team and the talent that each and every one of them has. Um, like they've all said, from the beginning of the week, there was just something about this team that was different. The atmosphere, the energy, um, from the team rooms to the bus rides to the first tee experience. Um, there was nothing like it, and just how we all came together and had fun and played some amazing golf on top of it. It was just great to be part of it. To the right. Stacy, congratulations on the win. What does it say about the will of your entire, we talked about how loose everybody is, but the will that on the back nine, so, couple of different matches where you guys were down for just so many people to grind out half points and come back in those matches. Yeah, I think it, I honestly think it's the experience of last year and knowing what half a point means. And, you know, they, they were on the wrong side of things last year and knew what that felt like. And I, I just, I think if last year doesn't happen, you know, maybe today end, ends a little differently. So I think they all learned a lot last year and I think it showed up today. And Lilia, can you walk me through your, your second shot on 18 from the fairway there, uh, the club that you used, and, and to stick it that close to the pin? And did you know what you needed to do and, and what, what had happened in front of you to get that half point? Yeah, so it was 103 yards helping win. That's actually my least favorite number to hit like a 90 shot down win. But I just had to step up to it. I knew I needed to hit it close. and. Alban was putting well all day, so there's a chance that she could make any length of a putt. And so it, I knew I had to stick it close and was able to somehow hit that shot to a foot and a half. And final one for you, Stacey. You, uh, you turned and you uh, passed the cup to Lexi first. Kind of reminded me of Stanley Cup in hockey when, <laughs> when players do that. Why was it significant to make sure that she got that first and to have that moment? Um, because she deserves that moment. I think she was kind of one of those first players to really get that first tee going loud and going crazy. And I think the Solheim Cup is what it is because Lexi started that and she started with that energy. And um, I just, all of my favorite Lexi memories are at the Solheim Cup. And um, I'm just super proud of her. I know today was hard. It was a hard day for her emotionally, I think. And 
just proud of her fight. And, um, you know, she's been a leader of this team for a long time, um, on and off. She leads by the way she prepares and the way she goes about her business. And um, who knows, maybe she'll make another one. Zephyr, on the left. Stacy, you have talked about how you relied on analytics so heavily. How validating was it seeing that the margin you built up over the foursome sessions yeah. proved to be the difference? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the pairings that we came up with to start the week, and then you just have to hope that the right people play well to make those pairings work. And we are fortunate is that they did play well, and I didn't have to make any adjustments, and I was able to stick to our plan that we had, and, and it got us our best possible pairings out. Um, something that we had a, we were talking about in the past, we've always tried to play all of our players in four balls. And so we did some research, and the last five winning Ryder Cup teams didn't play all of their players in four ball. And we'd done that in the past to get everybody ready for singles. Um, and so this year I said, I'm gonna put out the best possible pairings I can for every session. And if it doesn't get everybody in four balls, then it doesn't get everybody in four balls. And um, that was something I learned last time that we're probably gonna keep doing going forward. All right, Gene. Hey, uh, Rose, we asked you earlier, earlier this week what it is about playing in this era that fits your comfort zone. After going 4-0 today, just any more thoughts on that? You said it might be the grass, the air. Like, any more thoughts on after another win and outside DC? I mean, maybe the grass and the air. <laughs> um, I'd like to say, I mean, it's just been really comfortable to be playing on bent grass and playing on these types of golf courses. Um, the fans, I've always just thought about how great the fans were um, when they came out and just represented USA and how loud they were. Um, it was just so cool to witness and to feel that inside the ropes. Um, the first time that I really played back in 2020, it was still COVID and it was the US Amateur. So I don't really consider that a full on experience. I'd only consider that the golf course. Um, other than that, you know, this week has been just incredible with the golf course and the fans. I will add that on, in my data, she had the highest course fit rating of anybody on this team. So there's that part of it too. The golf course was made for you, Rose. <laughs> Beth Ann on the left. Nellie, I'm curious where this week ranks on the fun scale for you over the course of your career. This was, pr can you hear me? Yeah, the, this was probably the most fun I've had um, on a golf course ever. Um, just the team, the team environment, the caddies, everyone getting along, the fans, everyone was so incredible. We all vibed really well off of each other, and this is probably the most I've laughed and the most I fist pumped um, ever on a golf course, and it was just an uh, amazing week and a dream come true. Awesome. And then, Stacy, I know Justin Ray didn't hit a shot this week, but can you sum up what he's meant to you personally in this run? Yeah, I mean, he's been a huge asset for the last two and a half years from all the phone calls to the random texts to, you know, I kind of had a little freak out moment last week. I was trying to figure out pairings and I couldn't get it done. And we did a call and he got me back on track. And so um, he's just, he's been a great friend and he's, he loves his stats, but he loves golf and he, and he loves watching this team compete. And so um, just grateful for his friendship. In the front? I may be missing something, but where are the big bottles of champagne? <laughs> we haven't even been back to the team room yet. <laughs> was, oh. or they, I think there were, there were a couple. I think they drank them already. <laughs> that was a little bit of a joke, but um, you, you, all, you, you look a little bit drained up there. You look very relieved. Um, is, are, do you feel... Hungry, uh, I think, is most of them. Do you feel like um, a burden's been lifted and you, you can just exhale? I feel that way. I don't know how the rest of them feel. How do you guys feel? I got some choice words that I'm not going to say, but we feel good. <laughs> we feel like a million dollars because we got the cup. I think they're hungry and ready to go party. Amen. Do you feel like you celebrated in a more, more mature way than maybe the guys? gotten a chance to yet. 
we'll let I you mean, know. bring the bottles out. We'll see. We haven't gotten to celebrate yet. Any other Ian's questions cheating. in the media center? Bob? Uh, Lauren, uh, you mentioned that uh, I think you uh, came here four times beforehand. Did, and, and any of those times there, did you ever th practice uh, you know, a putt to win the cup? So Terry, my caddy, came up um, the week before Canada, and on the 18th hole, he put a putt down, and he said, this is to win the Solheim <laughs> Cup, and I made it. <laughs> how, how close was today's putt, and then how similar was it to the one that he put down for you? Uh, different putt, because it was a different hole location, but kind of, it was a little bit longer than what I had, but um, maybe closer to, like, the one I had on 17. Okay. And, and how far was it, your putt today? Um, on 18, I had about 15 feet. And uh, Stacy, um, I think Allison Corpus, when she got the 13th um, point, it was just before 1 o'clock. And when Lilia's putt dropped, it was almost 2.30. So it was like 90 minutes between the two. What weight was longer, that or from last year to this year to, to get the cup back? That was the longest hour and a half of my life. I'm not going to It was um, the morning went by really fast. And those early matches finished really fast. And then that last hour of, you know, those matches on 16, 17, 18, it just felt like it was never going to end. And just really nerve-wracking. Um, you felt pretty helpless. Um, but I, I started walking with Andrea because she, when, she, her and Rose had some really, they played really well the other day when I started walking with her. And so... She said she needed her good luck charm back, and she made birdie, and I was like, well, I can't leave now. So, um, so I ended up with Rose there, and that helped the time go by a little faster. But, um, yeah, the last 30 minutes or so were pretty rough. And then Meg? Yeah. Lauren, uh, standing on the 11th hole, you're three down. Is there a conversation that you had with yourself or with Terry to then go birdie 11, 12, and 14, square up that match? knowing where you are in the lineup and how important that your match could, have, could be? Yeah, Stacy was on the tee, and I told her that I fight, so don't worry. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, Terry and I have talked about, you know, my story and my background a lot, and pretty much the whole time we've been working together, he just keeps telling me how that that's what I do best is fight. And so I told him today what I do best is fight, and so I was going to keep going until the match was over. One more, not only did you bring the team three and a half points as a rookie, but you also brought the, the celebration that kind of took over the team. How, how tired are the fingers after the workout they got this week? Keep it going. All right, over here on the right. Stacy, uh, Suzanne was in here just a little while ago and she was a little emotional. Have there been moments since you won that's been a little overwhelming for you or the emotions have really hit you? Right now, no. I mean, I, I had similar to her. I, um, you know, in Spain, it didn't really hit me until I got on the airplane, and I was sitting on the airplane with my daughter, and she was sleeping, and I just, like, I just lost it, and I started crying. I was like, we did all this work for these girls to play to a tie, and that was literally the only moment that, from that point on, though, it was right back to work, because I don't want, I don't want that to happen again, and... There were parts of this journey that were hard, you know, it was busy, there was a lot of work at times, there were frustrating things at times, but, um, but that's part of it. And just to, to watch them celebrate and to see Lilia pull off that shot in that moment um, was just really, really special. And do you think now after you leave here, you'll be able to finally, like you said, exhale and enjoy the moment? Yeah, the shoulders are already down, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna enjoy the moment. We're gonna celebrate. This has been seven years in the making for a, a lot of the, the, the women on this stage, and um, there's a lot, actually 10, 10 that haven't had this celebration yet, so we're going back to the team room to celebrate. <laughs> and then one more on Sarah, and then we're done. Um, knowing how much you love analytics, now that the, the matches are over, can you share some of the specific metrics we were using to help determine some of the pairings? No, no. <laughs> I know. I mean, a lot of it, you know, it's got to stay within this team. The assistants know it. Um, we know what works. 
and I think I've got the buy-in now from this team as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep a lot of that to ourselves. But I'll tell you that one thing is this team played really, really good this week. And re it doesn't matter the pairings or any of that. If you play really, really good golf, you're going to win. Stacey, I know you've answered some iteration of this question, but the business is now finished. Yes. Can you just speak to what that means? Um, it's a little strange, to be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do next week now. Um, yeah, I mean, the job was to get the cup, and we finished the job, and um, I don't know what we do now. I hadn't thought past this moment, to be honest. Um, we sell, Other than we celebrate, you know, I got to get my daughter back to home to go to school on Tuesday, but, um, but past that, I don't know what's next. But that's Tuesday, and it's Sunday. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. Thank you so much, ladies. Congratulations.